Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm right now in France with all these lovely people. Let me start this interview with a joke. How many Frenchmen does it take to screw in a light bulb? One. Because he holds a light bulb and all of Europe revolves around him. So funny. No, it's funny. Well, as you may know, the French Revolution has become a legacy and still has impacted everyone. The years of the French Revolution was still a time of intense debate and chaos. Now, let's interview one of our fellow clergy. Hello there, miss. Could you Hello. please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Jean Sequoia. Hello there, Jean Sequoia. How are you today? I'm doing very good. It's a very holy day. Yes, I, I can tell. Yeah. Okay, so as you may know, you are considered the most important group in France. You didn't have to pay tax nor the no. Catholic Church. And you guys provide a lot of vital services, education system, etc. So my question to you is why did the concept of religion exist for clergy? The concept of religion is necessary in this highest in all of France. It is important for people to maintain religion throughout their lives and important for friends to understand its necessities in its social class. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. Okay, let's go. Uh, Hello there, miss. How are you today? Good. So can you please introduce yourself? My name is Marchioness Colette Rosette. Marchioness Colette Rosette. Wow. Pretty nice name. So, you are, uh, uh, let me guess, nobility? Right? Yes. Okay. So I heard you guys were, were you guys brought status and the, the, the members of the Burgios found it really desirable and you guys were exempt from, from taxes and, and so my question to you is, and that's all I know, so my question to you is how did wealth or politics affect nobility? Well, wealth wasn't really a defining um, characteristic nobility, but what we were important for was providing counsel to the king, and based so politics was really what made a noble a noble. Okay, thank you very much. Sir, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so let me just just give you some background information about the Burgiosi. So you guys, you guys like to make money yep. by becoming merchants, businessmen, uh -huh. and you guys like to make a lot of invest investments. Definitely, yeah. I should, uh, I should say. So my question to you is. How does being a middle class affect the concept of economy? Uh, for us, I think economy is very important because uh, we use it to uh, spend on important stuff like um, education for the coming up future generation. Because I feel like it, the future generation needs to be as smart as we are and they need to believe in new ideas for the coming up years. I see, I see. It's very well. Very well done. Hello there, peasants. How are you guys doing today? Good. Okay. So, can I start? Let me see. Um, let's actually introduce both of you because they're both of you. Okay, so um, my name is Robert. I'm 27 and I'm a male. Okay. I'm Smith. I'm 32 and I'm a male. Okay. Very, very okay. So I know that you guys had different customs and you guys lived, lived all over France. And you even spoke different languages and worked in agriculture. Oh. I, I bet your life must have been very chaotic since you guys faced against poverty and hunger. So my question to you, to both of you actually, is how did the job of being a peasant affect the government? Okay, so um, both of us are different kinds of peasants. I came from, I live in the city and she lives in the countryside. So in my opinion, life is really hard because we have to struggle for food every single day and bread is my daily concern at least. My income, which is very low, I mean I work in a small like factory, it's not even a factory, it's just a very like small cottage and I barely get any money and from that money half of my income goes to bread. And bread is just so important in life because that's the only food that I have. And now whenever they raise the prices of bread, it's just you just don't know if you're gonna get your next meal because then 75% of your income goes to bread, 
which I think is just ridiculous. And us, we're the tax-paying people. We deserve a voice. We deserve rights to, to like, to, we have a voice in our government, but the government or the king does not allow us to. And it's also not fair how we, our class, is a, has the biggest population, but we still get to represent only a, the same number of people as all different classes. So I'm pretty frustrated with this government, which I think is unjust. I can tell by yeah. the worst, amazing words that you said in, in your experience. Yeah. I feel bad for her because she's not saying anything, so yeah. So, how do you think, how do you think the job of being a peasant affect, affects your government? Well, um, my life is very hard and my family works hard too. And we live in a two or one or two room dirt floored house with our farm animals inside the house. And it has no ventilation and it's just breeding germs and everything. And on top of that, we don't get our everyday meal even though we work for the agriculture. And even after that, the government taxes us. I think that they, like the taxing system, on us is really unfair and that we need to get a say in the government too. I think that if we get a say in the government, it will be more fair for us because we're the people who work hard. So I really think that the government is really unjust for us. So, so could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Felice Milliner. I'm, I'm Felice Milliner. I'm a female servant, 30 years old, and I live in Barry, France. Okay. So, there's some stuff I know about you. So, I heard that you guys work for, for King Louis, and you guys you guys had a lot of advantages, where you, you were able to have regular food, clothes, and a place, place to sleep. But I heard that you were treated very poorly from your masters. So, my question to you is, how does this affect the monarchy? This affects the monarchy, but making the king look like a bad person. Because although they may give us food and shelter and clothes, they mistreat us really very poorly and nobody does anything about it. And there are like thousands of servants out there in France. So this makes people look down on the monarchy and how they treat uh, their citizens. Thank you very much, our fellow servant. Now, Mother, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, I am Madame Valentine. I'm 33 years old, and I live in Paris. Okay. So I know that that you guys would share a lot of ideas based on improvement on society, and you also would um, uh, think of new ways about the government too. So my question to you is, why did the word of society? exists for writers and philosophers? Um, I think it existed because we're just trying to question what life is and how society is formed and we're trying to see how we can make it better for ourselves based on our views and um, how the future is going to be like for society and the people that live in it. Thank you very much. And that wraps it all up. There you go, people. Now I have a good take on the French Revolution. This is Arjun Chakraborty reporting from France, ACB News. Hello. I can't do this. No, I'm sorry.